Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 20 of Civilization 6 as Rome. We are at war with both Japan and Congo. And now we're being denounced by uh, Spain. It's so funny when he starts denouncing, he gets really, really upset. But yeah, we're going to constantly be getting denounced by the AI. Yeah, it's always going to happen when you go uh, sort of uh, full warmonger. I'm hoping we do survive this because I am trying to steal that settler. I don't really want the settler. I just want to sell it. He had another one somewhere as well, but I can't see where it's gone. But, um, yeah, free settler will be, um, you know, quite a nice uh, quite a nice little thing. And so, uh, these guys will help us, the city-state. We may have to declare several wars and peace out, you know. Science owes more to the steam engine. So now we can get ironclad. So the question is, do we actually have any coal anywhere? Probably not. Uh, let's go and work on steel so we can build battleships. And what do we have over here? We were getting that work, weren't we? So we could get some more production going. So let's go ahead and... Um, Can we actually build? Yeah, we don't have two coal. We have one coal. We don't have a second coal. Just having a quick look around the map. Trying to see if there is any um, coal tiles nearby to any of my cities that I could buy and just quickly, uh, quickly connect up. There is one over here. Can we buy that tile? I think it's a little bit out of range of uh, both cities. No, we can buy that tile. So let's go ahead and do that. And we will need a builder. We have one right there. So you're going to go and hook up that coal. So choose production. There isn't really an awful lot that I'd like to get over here, to be honest. So I think we'll just... Because um, we're about to use a builder charge, we'll just get another... In fact, no, we'll get a scout. We're going to have a little look around the water and see if we can find where the rest of the uh, units are. Let's move in with you. We can't attack anything on this turn, but we can probably try and block them a little bit. So we've got a settler over here. Let's um, bring this settler out. Are you linked? Yeah, you are. So let's sort of bring you out here where you'll be safe. Let us start to move in with some of these other units. Try and weaken off some of the stronger ones if we can. And also the ones over on this side that um, Lisbon can't get at too easily. Yeah, not too sure what's going on with the animation for the uh, Bombard. It doesn't always seem to work. Definitely want to try and get f as far forwards as we can with the... Um... Let's get this flipping Inquisitor out of the way. No, that's the trader. That's the Inquisitor. You can just move. So now we can get you a little bit further forwards. You can move down here. Um, I don't know what you're going to do, really. Just get you back to a holy site somewhere, I suppose. Just go and find your way over there. What have we got close by? It's actually um, a Cong Congoese scout. So we can go ahead and get rid of you. Uh, looks like the Venter did actually clear that barbarian camp. But there are still some barbarians around that need dealing with. Uh, this builder, you were going to go and get some... Uh, well, production is really what we wanted over here. One, two, three. We could get the knight, and that would give you some more production. Uh, we've got enough gold to buy the tile. It's food as well, so it's not a, not a terrible tile. But yeah, we'll get you over there and get some production going. At least I think it's production from knight to tiles. I'm not 100% sure now. And uh, just basically keep moving down with uh, with units, getting into position to do something. Um, our cavalry. He has taken some damage. That is certainly true. But I don't really use cavalry for much. So if we can use him to go and get some cheap kills, we'll use him to go and get some cheap kills. And uh, we can't, we're out of movement now anyway, so that cavalry's probably going to die, but that's not too bad. It'll make space for some of the other units to get in, because we're going to have a lot of units and a very small space to attack into. We are at war with Japan as well, of course, so when we take out Mbwila, we are going to have to go into Japan. So yeah, we did lose that uh, unit. I fully expected that to happen. 
Bombard is taking a few hits now from Umbrilla. That is fine. But yeah, we should be able to thin out most of these other units while the rest of our reinforcements arrive. We still need a melee unit or two, just so we can sort of start taking these cities. And I could pay some money and hire all of Lisbon's units, but they're all quite dated, so there isn't really a lot of point in doing that. So we're going to get this settler home, and then we can sell him. I mean, we could just use him and try and settle a city over there somewhere that we could use to... Um... Are they suiciding units into me? Uh, we could uh, go and try and um, settle over there. Right, we would like to probably try and kill this unit first. Let's start moving over here with you so you can help out as well. Okay, so we've got a promotion which was on the bombard. So what can we give you? Um, combat strength when defending, combat strength when attacking land units. That's not too bad for you right now. The uh, settler's going to come down here out of the way. You are going to attack this unit. You are going to um, move in closer and you may as well attack this unit because it's in the water. So that should uh, take quite a bit of damage. Oh well, I didn't sink it, which I was hoping I would. Uh, so what have you finished now? Okay, do we have that um, coal yet? Uh, you are almost there. So if we move there, you can't get it on this turn. That is annoying. Um, almost wish I could just say, like, skip a turn and don't do anything. Um, yeah, we were getting a scout. We've got to scout. Let's get another scout then for two turns. Uh, what have we got here? We've got an Apostle. Um, this one. This is the one that's attached to the the guns, which is a Medic. So you definitely want to move up to the front, because you'll help people heal up. We've got another Bombard here that we can move in with as well. Uh, oh, you've still got a unit out the back there. Well, we want to clear that camp out. And we'd like to kill you. Now let's just make sure we uh, move around that scout carefully. I don't think the scout's going to cause too much of a problem. Yeah, there is a horseman down there who's going to be a bit of a pain. I think the city-state can probably deal with it on their own, though. At least I hope they can. Um, although I might move in with this one and actually try and help out if possible. Uh, so what have we got here? We've got a scout. So let's go ahead and get this scout in the water. We'll go see if we can find where Japan's capital is. Uh, we'll go over here and get ourselves a lot of extra production. So, we've got more units that we can move up to the front. Although we're starting to struggle to actually get space to uh, put them all in now. You can't shoot anything from there, so skip a turn. So, um... Brain is just frazzled, because I saw something that I wanted to check, and then I can't remember what it was. Um, you've got my religion. Yeah, a lot of barbarians around... Yeah, there was something I was just going to look at, and then I just had a complete and utter brain fart and can't remember what that was now. So you'll connect that up on the next turn. So let's just carry on then. Got quite a lot of faith now. I guess we could go and uh, go ahead and have a look and see what we could potentially uh, buy as a great person. Yeah, the bombard's taking a lot of damage right now, but I think it's safe. They do have another settler. It's over there on the left, look. I knew they had another one somewhere. These uh, constant barbarian attacks are a little bit annoying, but what can we do? Right, you are going to go and get the production. And I've just remembered what I was going to do. And it was to see what tiles you're working and make sure someone is working that tile. And you are. So we've got some production. The food here is still pretty terrible. So, it wouldn't be a bad idea to try and get a farm somewhere. Uh, you should be able to finish this guy off. You can move in here, but you don't have the range. You can finish off that horse, horse archer. There's so many barbarians everywhere. I mean, it's making money for us. Um, let's go ahead and have a look at great people. Can we afford to buy anyone for faith? We could get a great engineer. Um, 480 production towards Wonder Construction. Let's go ahead and get him, actually, because then we can use him to finish off Terracotta Army. Um, 
You are going to try and head back up here to the road. There's a barbarian camp there that we need to watch out for. Um, what am I doing with you? I think you can come down here and deal with that camp. That guy's going to die, so I'm not even worried about him. So let's just start bringing you back home. And uh, I guess we fire at this guy, just because he's a little bit close by. You going to let me fire at him? You've got half a movement point left. There we go. Just try and thin out his units. So let's get our settler... Very difficult trying to get the settler into your own territory. Let's move you out. Settler moves in. I love how the settler's in like a motorhome now as well. That is really cool. So we'll delete you. Uh, free 200 gold. Bombard has taken a little bit of damage, but nothing to be concerned about, I don't think. Now, most of these guys don't have an awful lot of upgrades, so... Uh, can you reach him from there? No, because you can't really see. But you can attack. And then the Bombard, which does do extra damage against land units, can weaken this guy off as well. We've got another promotion available. We're making more money. I see um, Sparta's got some nice stuff in there. He's got Chichen Itza. He only has a couple of um, uh, jungle tiles, so it probably wasn't all that useful. But yeah, we probably want to take out Nagoya. Uh, so what have we got over here? We've got our builder. Um, yeah, we said we wanted to get a farm or something somewhere. There aren't any real sort of ideal farm tiles, so we will um, just go and build a farm here. Why is it recommending this? I mean, there's no adjacent jungles, so what's the point? Uh, let's just go ahead and get a uh, couple of farms here that we can work. So now we can start exploring with our scout. See if we can find where the other coast is. We are working on another scout as well. Um, you can't really do anything, so just skip the turn. Now then, what was I doing with you? We, we got rid of that um, barbarian encampment with you. That's what we did. We've got another Bombard here that we're going to slowly move towards the front. And on to the next turn. So hopefully we'll be able to deal with Spain by way of naval combat. And then Japan and Congo, hopefully we can reach without having to travel too far. Because they do seem a good distance of the, uh, across the map. And yeah, there are still a few Congo scouts uh, roaming around. The best steel doesn't always shine the brightest. Well, now we can build battleships. We can also get artillery. And we can build the Eiffel Tower if we wanted to, which we don't necessarily need. Ideas lead to ideology. Lead to policies that lead to actions. Not too bothered about that. So, research. What do we want to move on to now? Flight might be useful. Um, but let's start working our way into replacement parts so we can upgrade our musketmen to uh, riflemen. Or to, uh, to infantry. So I guess now we can just basically um, start throwing damage in. Or do we want to try and get rid of the units? I think we want to try and get rid of the as many of the units first as possible. Uh, you can have improved damage. You can't reach from there, but you can certainly move forwards. And then um, apparently you can still attack, so go ahead and do that. Uh, we can get forward with you guys. You are our medic, so we don't want to lose you. We can move this bombard into position as well. You can skip a turn. So looking nice and strong there. Um, trying to chase these horsemen down is a pain. But let's go and clear the camp, because at least that will stop more of them spawning. Uh, we have another scout. So we'll go ahead and look in a slightly different direction with you. So we can now pick one of these... So we can get Communism, which would give us 3-3-1-1. Three, three, one, and one. Now, which what are the bonuses? Let's have a quick look. So Patronage of Great People is 50% less. Uh, bonus yields from district projects, yeah, not really that useful. Uh, fascism, inherent bonuses, all combat units gain 4 combat strength. So, uh, to oh, uh, Totalitarianism might be good for us. Um, bonus to unit production. 20% plus 1 for every 10 turns and standard speed. And this one is land units gain for defense strength. 
And what about the actual policies that we get? Production for modern atomic information over support units. No war weariness from combat in your own territory. Uh, accumulate 25% less war weariness than normal. Yeah, I think this is definitely the one that we want. So let's go and queue that up. We can claim a great person. This time he is a scientist, Isaac Newton. Instantly builds a university and a library in the district. Yeah, sure, let's go ahead and do that. We might need somewhere where we can build a campus. Because I think most of our places already have a library in. So, uh, what about you? You already have a... You don't have a library or a campus. Um, so, that is the perfect place to send you. So, no sauce. We're going to send... Um, we're going to send somebody down there for you. In the meantime... An archaeologist would take a very, very long time. In fact, anything you build would take a very, very long time. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, I don't even know what to do here. Because I could just put a couple of turns into the library, but what's the point? Because I'm just going to instantly build it. Put a couple of turns into an archaeologist. And we're going to take you... And we are going to instantly transfer you down to here. And then we'll do that on the next turn and we'll be good. Um, these are all units that need moving up to the front. You need to just get into a city, basically. and Oh, you've just ended up next to a barbarian camp, so that's bad news for you. Uh, what have we got over here? We can start building things now. So we should be able to work... Our, apparently I still don't have two coal. And I know why. I had one coal because I was getting it from Hattusa. And now that I've linked up a coal, I'm no longer getting that coal from Hattusa. So I still only have one coal. That's a little bit unfortunate. Um, bugger. So what do I want to do over here then? Mean it is not too bad. I guess we could improve the housing. If we can get some more population here, it'll be able to build a bit quicker. Let's have a quick look around then and see if there is any more um, coal that we can get. And there is actually. There's another coal over here. So let's go ahead and buy a tile. We'll get that coal. And the question is, do we have a builder around anywhere and we forgot to move uh, Gustav, so you need to move down to... Um, where are we trying to build the Terracotta army? One of these cities somewhere is trying to build it. Not you, you're building a trade route. You're building the Terracotta army. So we want to move you down to here. You can't move down to here because there's a unit in here that I don't want in here. Now I've just accidentally told you to run somewhere. When I don't want you to. So that's kind of screwed that up. Um, so hard to click on things. The interface is a little bit clunky. So. How many turns until completion? Yeah it's really not worth. Using him on that anymore now. I think we'll just save him for something else. Um, this builder. Let's go over here. And can we not repair that on the ivory? We can. There we go. So let's keep looking around with our scout. Put another scout down here. We can't move on this turn. Yeah, he's going to die off on his own, so I don't need to get involved with that. And um, yeah, I think we'll go down here and clear that camp out again, because that's going to be a problem. Just keep moving forward with, uh, with units, I guess. So this city should fall pretty quickly. We do have a couple of bombards in range. We still don't have a... Um, we still don't have a melee unit there, though. So we need to kill you off. Sort of move in with you. At least the camp is cleared now. So that's one thing. Uh, unit promotion available to our spy. Uh, siphon funds as if two levels more experienced. Fantastic. Just what we want. Uh, choose a production. Uh, Rome, work on your research lab. And what are you going to work on over here? Uh, you were working on a trade route, weren't you? 
So nothing you could build is particularly useful. Most of these cost so much production it wouldn't be worth even attempting. Uh, you could definitely work on an artillery. A musket moon would be 22 turns, which is ridiculously long. Um, you're almost at the housing cap, though. A bath really wouldn't help. Well, I guess it'll give you some, and it's cheaper than a neighbourhood. Uh, let's go and uh, drop one in over there on the rainforest then. It'll give us two housing, not six, but it'll still help. So, you need to repair that library. And what have we got down here? You need to move in a little. So, let's see what damage we can do. Um, first of all, we want to use the bombards. I mean, we could, we could upgrade these to artillery. Um, but I think for the time being, we just want to do as much damage as we can. We'll probably keep Umbwilla just to try and stop anybody else building anything there. Uh, you see that Umbwilla's already managed to... Um, I should have kept that that cavalry, shouldn't I? I can always actually go and buy a cavalry just to do that. Um, you can actually... Let's get this right. Let's just move you on top of him. Now, we could get you to fire or we could give you the promotion. Combat strength when defending versus city attacks. We'll give you that. That'll be nice. Um, you can actually move in. You can fire. And then let's just go ahead and purchase... Oh, no. Let's get this right. Let's go in here. We want to purchase ourselves a... We can actually get a musketman, so let's just go and get one of those. It'll be a little bit stronger. Take a couple of turns before we can get in. Uh, you're just going to skip your turn. You can fire, so please do so. And its health is almost down. And uh, you're going to go over here and so we can insta-build that um, library and university. Fantastic. Gives a bit more tech output. A tech output is actually pretty decent right now. Got another trade route. I guess you can go over there and trade with uh, Scythia. What have we got left? You are working your way down here. Surprised that you um, survived, as you did. Uh, let's try and get you into Rome. Although we just used zone of control there. I shouldn't have really just clicked. Again, another misplay on my part. They do happen. I don't worry about it too much. I try not to. Uh, this builder was going to get another farm, I think. So let's just come down here and um, get a farm. And uh, we've got another scout. So let's keep looking around, see what we can find. Just trying to get this scout to the other side of the uh, of the ocean. And what have we got here? We've got Bobby's boys. You are going to move forward. So Terracotta Army is almost done. Only another six turns. But we are going to have to end the video here. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you're still enjoying Civilization 6's Rome. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.